And that leads us to the dumbest bill in America. And do we have a lead up, Mr. Producer? And it's the dumbest bill in America. And it is dumbing down K-12 education in Oregon. That's right. Dumbing down K-12 education in Oregon by getting rid of proficiency standards in high school. Yes, you heard that correctly, podcast listeners. Senate Bill 744A in Oregon is a bill that does the following. Here is what the staffers wrote about the bill in the state Senate in Oregon. This is from the evaluation people in the Legislative Services Department. Every state has one. Each state calls it something different. But these are the civil servants who wrote the bill, and they're defining what the bill actually does. So it's from their own words from the bill itself. It does the following. Requires the Department of Education in Oregon to review high school graduation requirements for all high school diploma options. Establishes criteria for for review. Suspends essential learning skills graduation requirement for 2021 and 2022 school year and the 2022 and 2023 school year suspends the essential learning skills graduation requirement for the next two years, requires submission of report and recommendations to the legislative committees by September 1, 2022. What kind of report do you want? We didn't give the test, so therefore we don't know how many people know anything when they graduate. I mean, that's what they should put in the report. Prohibits State Board of Education from requiring students who successfully complete credit requirements to show proficiency in any other skill or academic content area beginning with the 2023-2024 school year. I got to read this again, folks. Prohibits the State Board of Education in Oregon from requiring students who successfully complete credit requirements. In other words, they successfully, you know, complete their their academic courses, it prohibits them from showing proficiency or any other skill or academic content area beginning with the 2023-2024 school year. In other words, this bill is using COVID as an excuse to permanently get rid of graduation requirements that tell us that the student, as they graduate, are proficient in basic writing skills Spelling skills, math skills, science skills, history skills, civics education skills, getting rid of all that, literally permanently getting rid of it, but using COVID as an excuse. As you can expect, I'm sure the teachers union is behind this. And so here is what local Channel News 21 said about this particular bill. New Oregon law suspending graduation testing requirement sparks debate. Yeah, you think? In Salem, Oregon, a new Oregon law that suspends the requirement for a basic skills test in math, reading and writing to graduate high school is being praised by advocates as a way to rethink education standards and sharply criticized by others as a misguided effort that will hurt children learning in the long run. So the advocates for this bill say it's a great way to rethink education. What's the term they use for the police? Reimagine education, reimagine the police. Well, here we go again, right? Democrat Governor Kate Brown of Oregon signed Senate Bill 744 last month without much attention. Intentionally, by the way, the measure temporarily eliminates essential skills testing through 2022 and 2023 school year. That requirement had been put on hold amid the coronavirus pandemic, which forced the closure of many schools and students to learn remotely. The Oregon Department of Education has said the new law will allow the state to develop more equitable graduation requirements. Equitable. There we go, folks. The Oregon Department of Education wants more equity in graduation. In other words, if you are someone who didn't do the work, right? I mean, let's say you have average intelligence and you should clearly be able to to graduate from high school with basic proficiency if you were to take the test. Um, But you choose not to do any of the work in high school, like you just don't show up, which does happen, by the way. Um, 
that's not equitable to that person. Yeah, it's not equitable to the person that didn't do the work and still has the capability and decided not to show up at the class. You know, they just kind of they were a no show for the four years. It's not equitable to them. It's not fair that they have to take a proficiency test in order to get out of high school or to at least get a, uh, a high school diploma. That's not fair. It's not equitable. And this is what the left believes now. This is all part of critical race theory, right? That people of color can't do the work and therefore we shouldn't hold them accountable in any way. And, and by the way, to be fair, this law holds all people, no matter the color of their skin, unaccountable. <laughs> Basically, you know, I mean, you can be the smartest person. It doesn't matter. You can be the person that doesn't do the work, but could be relatively intelligent. Doesn't matter because equity is about dumbing down everything. That's really what equity is. It's socialism. It's communism. It's Marxism, clearly. So officials have been told to compare diploma requirements in different states and find ways to reduce disparities and ensure that graduation requirements are fair. Senate Bill 744 does not remove Oregon's graduation requirements, and it certainly does not remove any requirements that Oregon students learn essential skills, department spokesman Mark Siegel told Portland TV station KATU. Rochelle Chase, founder of MXM Block, an advocacy group led by black women and focused on education and other social justice issues, said certain children struggle with exams and had been hurt by the testing requirements. Oh, give me a break. I'm sorry. Give me a break. You can either do the work or you can. If you can't do the work, then you know what you need to do? You need to study harder. You need to work with a tutor. And public schools provide that for you. Many of them do. And if they don't, then they should. That's how you get people proficient. You make them accountable. You hold them accountable. And then you make them do the work. And you say, I'm not going to just pass you just because you think I should. But that's what Rochelle Chase wants. That's her idea of social justice. Quote, under the best of circumstances, in, norm, in totally normal times with no pandemic, there are a number of children who don't test well, Chase said, including children of color. Those in need of special education, low-income students, and early language learners, she added, that's, it's not a deficit on the part of those children. So once again, don't lump in special education students with children who don't have special needs, but just choose not to do the work. What we're talking about here is children who, they're perfectly capable of passing all of these proficiency exams, which are necessary for them to be able to graduate and function in society. Absolutely necessary for them to do that, but they choose not to do it. And now we're not going to even hold them accountable. Quote, they serve as checkpoints so that any kids who need extra help in getting those extra requirements, we can get them extra help to make sure they can graduate, graduate with the same proficiency as their peers. Folks, that says it all. So, this lady says that we can get them the help they need to make sure they can graduate with the same proficiency. She wants proficiency not to be tested so that she can say all high school diplomas are the same. And they're not. If they were the same, then when, why do some kids go to Harvard? And why do some kids go to Stanford? Why do some kids go to Georgetown? Why do some kids... Why are some kids not able to read proficiently when they graduate? How are they allowed to, to graduate from high school if they aren't proficient in math and they can't function in society by doing basic math and they can't read or write proficiently? They can't function. But according to her, the reason this bill is necessary is because everybody should have the same proficiency as their peers. When they graduate, they should be the same. They should all go to Harvard. It's not fair otherwise. <laughs> so I'm just going to finish with this. So in the Wall Street Journal, it says, Dumbing Oregon down. The soft bigotry of low progressive expectation expectations for minority students. Why didn't we think of that? Politicians and school officials in Oregon are embarrassed that too many minority children fail tests designed to confirm they've mastered the essential skills that high school is meant to teach. So in the name of racial equity, they've now done the progressive thing. 
instead of lifting graduation rates by boosting student performance, they're eliminating the proficiency requirement. <laughs> so in other words, someone comes to you and they say, okay, do you have a high, you say to them, do you have a high school diploma? Because this job requires you to be able to punch in, in the computer numbers and do adding and subtracting and also be able to read. Oh yeah, I can do all that stuff. I have a high school diploma. And then you realize that they can't do it because there was no proficiency requirement. There was no testing. And therefore you have no idea whatsoever that you hired this person who can't even function at a basic lowest level in society. And that's what Oregon is doing. And they're doing it all in the name of racial equity, CRT, and dummying things down because people aren't allowed to be exceptional. They don't believe America is exceptional and they don't believe some children can be exceptional, more exceptional than other children because that's not equitable. That's not what equity is about. And that is the dumbest bill in America. 